All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. Run episode number 22 for today. And in the last episode, we got to experience the boost meter for the first time in the Road to SSL. Now, you're gonna have to excuse me. I just woke up from my bachelor bachelorette party. So I'm not feeling the greatest, but I'm gonna get through this and see if we can get to uh, GC in 2v2. If we get one more game, I think we should rank up. And hopefully, we'll get our 3v3 rank closer to 2v2. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired today. So hopefully, you guys can forgive me that I don't do the meme of the day today. Don't worry, Leth, I got you. Today, the editor does the meme of the day. First up, we have Leth Rogan. I made this one up. It's not from a comment. I'm sorry. But after making this, I felt like it was a little bit too normal. So then I came up with monolith, which is leth as an Easter Island monolith. I hope you guys enjoy. We'll have the making of the meme of the day at the end of the video as usual. But back to Lethemir. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we got an insta queue 3v3 game. We've got uh, two people that are queued together. So they should be a little more coordinated. Um, he's saying okay. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Let me go to the back left here. It's a good bounce for us. Good pop. I'm gonna go for this now. You see, I was kind of like waiting in a position to like go for that. I can also wait under the ball here. Try to get in the way. Definitely had a good position to make a shot on target right at the beginning there. I probably should not have taken that for my teammate. Oopsies. Definitely don't like if you see your teammate rotating back there and you have the spawn boost. Definitely better not to take the boost. Oh, they miss. That's good. Should probably loop out. I'm definitely like confusing my teammate there. Wait for the clear, maybe. It's a cross. White waiting for the bump. Good try. Uh, Jet is sitting pretty far back, so now he can get this ball on the backboard. Nice catch. I'm trying to loop in front of uh, my teammate here. Good. Oh, is that the? Is that in? No, it's not. Okay, got the corner boost. Wait for this clear. One more touch. Yeah. Should expect that. I spent to dribble this off the backboard. I'm going to go here. I'm going to definitely beat them, but it's not going to be on target. Good try in the finish. I'll loop out here. Should be one of my teammates. Good pop. Good. I can go over the backboard here. It looks like my teammate wanted it. Um, I could have played that a lot faster and hit that off the backboard. I'm like, don't want to hesitate against uh, against these players. Because like, they don't have like a lot of control with the ball, so you can definitely... Um, ooh, a no boost. You can definitely, uh, sorry, I'm like losing it. <laughs> uh, you can definitely play pretty quick on these balls instead of like playing hesitant. Good try on the clear. Good try as well. Should be one to clear here. Nice. Hit this across. Teammate didn't expect it though. The great shot. It's off post. may has it in mid. I'm going to wait for the, the pop off the backboard. We could clear, but I'll keep it in with the touch on the right side. Now, this ball's off the ceiling, so I can probably stay close here. Make a touch. It's awkward. This boost will spawn. I'm going to get on the middle here. See the Jet's under the ball, so he's probably going to want to cut this. And now I have a free clear. A good try. I'm going to pop this off the backboard. This could be a good chance. Maybe a finish. Good fake, I think. I'm not sure if it was intentional, but it works. Oh, big miss. Go for a shot. Timed it so I can get towards the target. Good pop off the backboard. Jet's pretty low, so I'm going to turn on this for, for him. Hopefully, I can pop this off the corner. And he can go for this in mid. That's great positioning. Good chance. Give me a shot right here. Perfect. That's a great pass from uh, Jet on the side there. Uh, off the backboard. And then uh, Danny follows it up. Uh, to hit it off the uh, the back wall. I think he was trying to shoot that, obviously. But that was a great chance for us. Should have this in the corner. I'm just trying to rush it and make a good 50-50. Looks like they have it, so my teammate should have this. Good job. Make sure you're positioning in in the best chance possible. Uh, waiting for There's nothing they can really do to clear that ball out past you if you're sitting right in that middle area. Um, my teammate needs boost. I'm going to have to all the way back. I had, I had like 40, but... This towards target, they back off. I'm gonna see the uh, the best option here is that it's gonna be off the backboard. My team is gonna try and catch it. I really should have should have been there. Uh, I thought he was gonna make a better catch though. I can do a loop for these pads here instead of going for a big corner boost. There's 40, 60. I'm gonna cut this off. Hit the corner boost, and then Jet should come in. So honestly, my teammates are rotating really well together. This is going to be a win here. I have space in the ball. You see, I don't have to boom that right away. And that's going to give us the chance to get a goal. 
Um, making sure that you understand that like no one can get to this ball really fast is uh, good for getting control on the ball and taking the time to bring it back towards a threatening position towards the goal. Because in that position, you could easily boom that off the corner, but that's not really necessary, especially because all the players are set up on the back end. Someone needs to be challenging me or coming towards that ball, at least pressuring me to get the ball off of me. Get this across. Jets forward. A decent touch. It's a good pop, but that's a little scary. One of them should have been challenging that towards the middle. I'm going to loop behind here. Nice. Took a pop back. Pop it up. Just relieving pressure with that. Zoro has to use a lot of uh, boost. So it should cause us... Ooh, that's a lot of... A lot of boost there. It's going to be one of them on that ball. Oh, no, never mind. Pop this over them. There's two people, like, kind of turning towards me to go for a challenge. I'll let my teammate go for this. Stop it. Come here. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Wait, he has it. Surely. Okay, good. That guy was coming for me. It's a good pop. I'll just pop it forward. Get the underside of my car so it hits upwards. Good clear. It's going to be Zoro. It's good positioning from him. The ball bounce, bounces in the mid. I see my teammate on the left wall. And there it is. Pretty good game. Sorry about the messy comms. I have not played Rocket League for a couple days. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty exhausted. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, this, this, this rank is definitely going to be difficult to get out of if you don't play those good positions. If you don't, if you let the ball go over your head a lot because you're not, like, playing, paying attention to what can happen with the ball, you have to really think about the potential of where the ball can go. Okay, we got Danny on the other team this time. Um, so what do I mean by um, potential? Basically, like, when you, see, when you see a player on a ball, you have to understand, like, what the potential options are that they can go for. Um, you know, either like right now, there's nothing he can really do to boost to that more to get to that ball. He already hit it. Now this is Calix ball waiting for it. No more potential for any players to really do anything on the other team right here. It's going to be a 50, 50 up the wall. Now I see that's going to bounce out off that roll. So I'm just going to go for a pop forward. Hopefully Ashton can go for this. That's a great pass. That's a really good pass. It's nice and soft, like to the direct side of me. And honestly, like a fart, I think it's an off farth, soft farth maybe. I don't know. Um, he he definitely had a decent position to come and rotate and turn on that, but so did the uh, other teammate. So they both got confused. Now this is going to be one of them clearing, possibly. They have a, a dribble right here. He can pop it to the right side. I already know that's like one of the potential options that he has. So I'm getting ready for that. Here, there's a, my teammate probably has the ball. He gets demoed, though. That's a great positioning there. This spice can get in there. Great double. Now this ball is free uh, because they boomed it forward. So what I'm going to do is try and uh, keep it controlled. Obviously it gets a little dangerous if it's off the backboard, uh, but great shot for my teammate. Like right there, my teammate didn't trust that I had control. Like right here, I have the ball to like force in a player. Bit of a misread from Kalik. A little difficult because he's, he's last man. He has to make a, a reliable touch. Sometimes you can be over ambitious and try to make a really, really strong touch, um, but you know, in those positions where you're last man and the, and the ball is in a dangerous, dangerous position, uh, it's best to make a worse contact than no contact at all. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have kind of lost my voice. I am struggling <laughs> in more ways than one. But, uh, you know, Rocket League at the end of the day for me is... It's just something that I can jump onto any day, even if I'm not feeling great. And it does, I do just enjoy myself. I don't know, it's one of those games. It's a great, great pass middle. Ashtone's zero, so I'm going to try and just force them to make a touch backwards. This is right to me. Get a flip under the ball. I'm going to try and pop this middle, see if my teammate can get ready for it. Nice. Nice play. Really good. Honestly, that was a good all around play. There was one player going for the demo on the one guy jumping, or the one guy that was in net, and then the one guy middle. That was like honestly like textbook Rocket League right there. I didn't need to make the shot towards target because there was someone in net, and I also like threw the p the defense off because it went towards the middle instead of right towards uh, the goal, because everyone's expecting a shot and goal at all times, pretty much. I don't, I don't think anyone really like at this rank will be expecting passes. Maybe off the backboard. 
to get cut off. This is really, really dangerous for me to go for. It should be maybe a chance for them. A great recovery from Spicy. Now I see that both my teammates are rotating right to net, which is totally fine, but now uh, they both don't have any boosts. So a couple of them, like one of them at least could have went for uh, a boost play. Yeah, the one in net there could have probably positioned a little bit wider, but I also probably could have not went for the boost as well and just played the middle, but I definitely think one of them, with the way they rotated back, they definitely could have been there. Go for a 50. Get the boost. Good try on the... F uh, the read there on the wall. It's a good pop. I mean, Kalik, I like that my, my teammate didn't go for that. Now, the touch off the sidewall here is going to be close for me. I'm just going to play really close and just pop pop this middle. Ooh, it's all good. Good try. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> a little bit of a collision. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just funny. <laughs> I did not expect them to be that close to me. I, I definitely should have shouldn't have turned into him, obviously. Alright, so I should be able to get this boost. It's a bit high. I'll let Spicy go for this. It's so much space for him to turn on this. You see how much like I don't need to panic on that because my teammate's ready for that position. Oh, big miss. Good, just watching middle. Potential is that this is gonna bounce on the wall. I gotta watch for Kaylee to make a touch. Good cut. Hit this off the corner, and that way I can stay with the ball. It's going to be dangerous. There we go. A really good bump from them. That was a really good uh, read. If they hit that any harder, it would probably would have been a goal. Good clear. I'll let him stay on this. A little scary. My teammate definitely kind of baited both of us that he was going to make a touch there. But he was zero boost, so it's good to know that he really doesn't have a good position on that. He's going to be off the wall, and hopefully one of my teammates. They're both in the same position, but they definitely should be one of them following up with me. There we go. Kayla's going to read this. Good cut for my teammate. I hit this off the corner. And then I'm trying to follow this. Looks like they have it, though. Good. Hopefully you can follow it. Beautiful. I'm going to grab a few boost pads in the middle here. I see my teammate on the far right so, or far left, so I'm going to be a little bit careful just to barrel in right away. It's off the backboard. See if they read it. What a read. I have space to control this again. Let's see what they do with this. That's two players. It's off the backboard. Looks like Ash is going to try and read this. That's a great touch to keep controlled. Okay. Oh. Good try. Off the corner. This should be me. It's a little scary because I'm last man there. And nice finish. Honestly, like right there, I know that like they're not going to be maybe reading that too fast. If I go pretty cl uh, quick here, I should be first. Also, uh, Ashton did a really good job of... Uh, Bumping the last player, which gave me more time on that ball. I'm going to go back left here. Comes to me. Around one. I have space in this ball. Both players go. Good try from Spicy. It should be probably a faster read there. It definitely could jump a little bit earlier. I'm going to wait for Spicy. He's under the ball. Looks like Kelly might have a touch over him, though. Oh. Nice. Should be Ashtone to turn. I'm going to wait mid here. This should be open. Just going to shoot it to the left side. Yeah, that was a great cut. And it seemed like all the players on the other team were on the right side. Really, really over... Uh, yeah, overcrowding themselves. Always got to be really careful. If you're the one to grab the boost, uh, the big boost, and you're the only one that has boost, um, not to just throw yourself out of the game right away because you have to be sure you're going to get the contact on the ball because... If you don't, you're leaving your teammates who have no boost in a really horrible position uh, to try and cover everything. Now, this is going to be a good chance for them. I'm going to try and read the backboard. Yeah, that's a great play. What I would do if I was a higher level player, and if you do get used to these, I would definitely jump up to these right here. Like I would jump right now uh, for this ball. Um, that's definitely a ball you need to go for off the backboard to clear that into the corner. It's a hard read, I won't lie. Like It's definitely going to be difficult, but getting used to just going for those is going to be good. So... I'd, I don't want to, like, overdo it <laughs> uh, at this rank. I think that, like, most people aren't making those reads. So if you do get comfortable with those, though, those are something you should be going for. That was a great second, third, uh, 3v3 game. I almost said great second, third game. Uh, yeah.
definitely good rotations. I felt really comfortable with all the players that I was uh, with on my team. And uh, honestly, all the, the opponents are playing really well too. So it's been pretty close games. The first shot there was great. That was a great passing play. Wow, we're getting threes again. This is great. Honestly, like this is like how we're going to get our rank closer to 2v2. But I would like to move up to, uh, <laughs> to Grand Champ in twos. Let's see what happens here with this. Uh, this guy's probably stay on it. We got the uh, the, the the off guy or Thoth. Hit this towards target. You're trying the dunk. Should be my teammate to rotate back in. It's a great shot. Great finish. Honestly, really good rotation so far. Good cutoff for my teammate, and then good rotation uh, from the uh, Thoth uh, to not go all the way back and just stay relevant on the play. Hit 50. Good cut. Two should be Meebs here. Good try. Off the backboard. I'm just going to go for it. A little scary as last man. Definitely should be playing that a little bit faster. You can see my teammates are all low, so I'm just going to grab a couple pads. And I didn't mean to take that, but it will be all right. Meebs has boost there. Good 50. Should be nades. I'm going to go back here. I can cut this. That's fine. Even though you went for that, it's no problem. I have the, I have a, a good clue there. Hoping for a pass to the right. That's totally fine too, though. I like the bump play. I like this play. I'm gonna stay close to the ball here. Go for a shot. I feel like I'm causing pressure just by making fake outs on the ball. Staying uh, good, good control, good positioning. Cut this to the right side. Should be Meebs to turn. I like that he didn't just go all the way back. A lot of people default to just rotating full back, and it's not always necessary. That's a great shot. Shouldn't be in. It's a pretty hard clear, but should be all right. Should my teammates rotate out here? Good clear. My teammates pushing up on this at the same time. So you can see I'm positioning for the next touch. Can loop out and get a couple pads here. There's one. There's two. That uh, Dank Rabbit is on the ball, so a little, a little careful. Nades is also on this. That's good. There's space in this ball. Hit this to the side here. Good cutoff from them. Both my teammates go, though. It's a little scary. They do get the win, though. So if they didn't win that, that would def definitely really be bad for me. Little reset. Good try. It's fine. Good recovery from me. I'll push up on this because nobody on my team is pushing on this. Get some pressure going. Good try. I'm last man here, so I'm a little careful with this touch. You see, I faked them out to let me get the boost, the ball for free. Now, I would go for that follow-up, um, but I don't know if people are really doing that. I haven't really seen people go off the ceiling. So, like, this touch right here, that was great. I fall off the ceiling and then get a clear here. Um, but I don't think people are really doing that at this rank, so I don't want to, like, do more than what people are doing. I haven't really seen people do that. Maybe, like, one player did it a while ago, but such a wide range of players at these ranks. Yeah, okay, space here to try and get a 50. Should be Thoth. Good flick. Oh, I'll go for this. You see, I'm just focusing on making good contact with the front corner of my car. It should make it really easy to get good power. I like that control touch from Thoth, Thoth here. I should beat this guy. So I'm just going to go for the clear off the side to beat the ball. Oh, good try on the 50. I'm going to go on this. I'm, I'm playing, playing pretty reserved there, I think. I should definitely be playing a lot faster. It's a big miss. I'm just going to hit this off the backboard to get some more pressure and then go for a bump or something. Woo, there it is. So, like, I know that as last man there, I don't want to let that ball get, like, get free of the, the pressure. And um, I want to just make a pop that isn't dangerous that they can get immediate clear. Sometimes you can be over ambitious and go for shots that will just give the opponents an immediate sh uh, clear down the field. You gotta be really careful not to just shoot it on target just because you can. You gotta make sure you're really thinking about why you're doing that. Are you shooting on target to make a player uh, make a bad clear? Are you shooting on target to uh, uh, make it so that your team can stall? Uh, you gotta figure out what it. Oh my goodness. You gotta figure out what you're doing it for. Make, have intention, have, have purpose on every touch. I know I've, I've, like, I'm a broken record at this point, but it is truly, really important. Oh, wow. What a dunk. 
I didn't really mean for that to be a goal. I was just trying to play the 50-50. But uh, really good pass for my team off the backboard. And then Nades actually went wide on the ball. What I was expecting was more of a outward, like, goal side uh, challenge from him. And he ended up trying to, like, be really ambitious and go past the ball. Should be Thoth here and get the, the mid. Great challenge. Me uh, Meebs is up off the backboard. I'm last man here. It's a little scary, but they're also panicking. Okay, Thoth's pretty far back, so I'm going to get behind him here. It's a big clear, but I'm ready for it. I can see space to the right side. There's nobody there. I don't really have an option, a great option for my teammate, uh, for either of my teammates to get that ball to, so I was kind of waiting for uh, finding a good spot on the field. Oh, I, I said the guys are not going off the ceiling, and then I see Thoth kind of try for it. I have a clear here. If I go for a big boom to the left side, it should be Nade to clear it. I'm pretty low, but I can rotate here. It looks like Meebs is up, though. So I could have grabbed that, that one pad there. Okay. Get it cleared on the field. Hopefully one of my teammates uh, rotates. You can see Meebs was pretty wide there, but he still gets the contact. Oh, wow. What a follow. That's a great play. Really good speed. So far, I feel like um, like not just like the opponents are... The opponents aren't doing that bad. I think I think actually like my teammates have been outmatching uh, the uh, the opponents each game here. Off the backboard, should be good. We have space. You see how much how important that is. To just take control and um, and go for like a controlled play to the back. And I talked about this in a couple episodes that letting the ball go past you is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's actually the best thing you can do for your team. All right, for the final game, we got threes again. Wow, that's actually really good though because we're getting our rank closer to our two v two. Um, but no GC1 today. Uh, we got Frosty and Alt Chop. I'll let him go for this. Go for the back corner. Good 50. If Hart goes for this. Looks like he wants to boost. Pops in the middle. Drizzle's going to have a clear here. To my teammate here. It's fine. He's, he should have probably pushed into that corner a little bit earlier. Keep the movement going. Rotating a little bit uh, sharp here. Trying to get in front of my teammate. Oh, he's, uh, it sounded like he was in the net for some reason. Great pass middle. Just hoping for a follow-up. Maybe one more touch. Good try. Can I get back here? Good clear to the side. Looks like he's getting the mid- Oh, I thought he was going to get the mid boost, but it's all good. Okay, I'll go for the challenge here. He let go of the ball here, so I'm just going to hit it off really hard off the wall. The wall. I'm going to wait for them to get a clear here. There we go. I could go for a bumps too if I wanted to. We could try all chops in a really- uh, It's actually ATL chop. I'm not really sure what- what that means, but that's all good. Okay, I have a clear here. It's gonna be I'm gold. This should be a clear for chop. I'm here on the right, the the left side. Hit this across. Good try in the finish. So it was good contact from the two of us. Uh, the final shot wasn't there, but that's okay because we are you rotating back. Good clear. Let's see if my teammate has it. Good control. I like that touch. Good follow. I'm gonna take this boost from the opponent. Like, even though I'm, I'm, I got a lot of boost there, like, I know that the opponent is probably going to be the first to get it. Go for a high clear. Should my teammate to rotate this back in. I want to keep the pressure. Uh, definitely, like, anything where you can, like, lob the ball is going to be better than that shot where you go straight down the field like that. Looks like I'm gold's going to have it. Oh, leaves it. Nice. Give me a follow up here. Could confuse him a little bit off that touch, so I'm going to try and go on that one. Really good dunk. Rotation. Looks like he has it though. It's off target. It's gonna be one of them. I'm gonna leave it just in case it goes rolls to one of my teammates. Cause like I said, leaving it to like go back to your teammates is not a bad thing. Does he have it? Okay, good. Definitely could have been a little faster with that and got a good clear. I'm gonna go to the backboard here. Good follow up. I'm just gonna try and boost towards the ball there to try and get control. Good touch. I definitely beat here, but off the corner, I should be forward left now. But Chop is not pushing up on it. That's totally fine. Loop behind, get some boost pads. Waiting for the challenge. A little bit of a weird ball, but it should be okay. I'm just going to get ready for the bounce down. I don't know if I'm gold has this. That's all three players. Okay, it should be okay. Team, I got the boost. Top has the clear. Once again, just having a ball lob instead of rolling on the ground is definitely going to be a lot better for 
relieving pressure. Nice shot. Just a good, good read for my teammate. He has a good position there to uh, get the dunk because uh, Hart is trying to control across, but he could have just dribbled that and kept himself behind the ball before the opponent made the challenge. Go for a flip here. Seems like people aren't, still aren't speed flipping in this rank. I see a couple people try it, but no one's really doing it. Good try. It's off the backboard here. I got some space. Should be drizzle. Took me over my head. I was trying to read it just in case he went for the, the clear to the opponent behind me. The great demo from uh, Grizzle. Good touch from Frosty, too, just to keep pressure. He's going to back out here and get boost now. Nice spot on this ball. I'm going to look for my teammate in middle. Nobody was middle. <laughs> okay. Uh, chop with a decent 50. Get this across. Looks like it hearts there first, though. Good. I'm just going to wait in that here. I'm last man, so... Good try, good patience. He has zero boost. It's totally fine though. I can let him get 50 50s. Now I have space on this ball. I'm I, I got one v one here. Maybe across. He was covering a lot of the angles compared to where my car was. It was going to be a very very tight shot to the bottom left. Hitting it across isn't the worst thing. I can definitely uh, push for this. Try and get a bump on this guy who's going for the ball. Good save. So I see that Frosty's in net with zero, so this is going to be a little scary if I, if I go for this. I'll try and roll this into the corner softly. Alright, so that's off the ceiling again. Let's see if they go. Wow. Okay, well, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I just fell there. Um, that's fine. I definitely didn't mean to make the, the contact there. It just kind of happened. Let's see what uh, Frosty and Chop do. Ooh, wow. Let's try and go on this. Yeah, that was a great pinch. I just kind of push forward for that to see if I can get a shot towards target. And all I did was just doink it there with my car because I don't need to put a lot, a lot of power on it because it's already in the direction where the power is going to come out just from jumping and causing myself to be like a wall of some sort. But interesting episode. Definitely very, very organized 3v3. I, I like how, how everyone was rotating really nicely. Definitely a lot less chaotic than the last couple times we played 3v3. Um, no rank up to Division 4, but we're getting close to Champ 2. Hope you guys know the episode. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm tired and uh, I don't feel the best, but keeping the daily uploads going. Uh, and I still think I like gave a lot of good information in this one. Actually, better than usual. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make Leth Rogan here. So I got a photo of Seth Rogan in here. And of course, since I'm Leth's editor, I have a bunch of photos of him. So here we go. <laughs> and I think we're good. <laughs> I feel like his nose needed to come to the right a little bit just to try to match the perspective a bit better. Next, I'm going to grab the glasses, though. To do that, I'm going to do the fast way and just grab all of this. OK, well, this is this is uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Anyway, we want Leth's eyes. <laughs> this is already so cursed. It's like he's wearing a skin suit. <laughs> and there we have it. There we have Leth Rogan. Next up, I have Monolith, which is Leth as an Easter Island Monolith. We're going to get a little weird here. Um, but I think for this one, it's important that we do separate pieces. So we're going to start with the nose. Now with piece one in place, I think next up we should do the eyes because that's funny. I think this is pretty good. I just want to line up the edge here. I'm just going to kind of try to bring... I mean, we could use this bit of skin to make to fill out the head as well, I think is OK. And as well, we might as well pull this down. Let's see how bad that looks. Looks pretty awful. Let's keep going. And we'll bring in an ear later as well. Okay, next I'd like to bring in the mouth. And I think we just kind of leave the mouth as is here and just blend it in. Might be cleaner if we switched everything to like patches of Leth's face, but I think this is pretty funny. Okay, we got chin. Now I'm only bringing this up so we have more to work with blending wise. <laughs> I know that doesn't make a difference at this point, but that's okay. And then I think we could just stick the ear here, to be honest with you. And then we might as well give him his hair. Okay, so I did end up going and making a mass of skin. I think I think it's just going to make things overall come together a little bit nicer. All right, well, there is our Easter Island monolith. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Dang. Nailed the leth outro.